Let's review how to solve absolute value equations. Our first step is going to be to rewrite this equation without the absolute value brackets. So we've just got x minus 3 equals 7. But then we also need a second equation where it equals negative 7. x minus 3 equals negative 7. We need two different equations to solve absolute value equations because whatever is in those absolute value brackets, whether it's positive or negative, we need to find both of those solutions. Because absolute value means the distance away from zero. So if this x minus 3 equals 7, then it's going to equal 7, positive 7. And if this x minus 3 equals negative 7, the absolute value of that is still positive 7. So now we're just going to finish this up by solving each of these. So we're going to add 3 to both sides of this equation to get x equals 10. And then we're going to add 3 to both sides of this equation to get x equals negative 4. So both of these numbers are solutions to this equation.